Okay. Starting off with Yuji is not teaching Sukuna about love. Okay. Straight up. One, because Sukuna already, or rather Yuji even realized he's like, I'm not getting through the Sukuna. He's not listening. He And Sukuna says, you know, I know what you're saying, but I really don't care. You know, which is a reasonable response. He's a Yuji hater. You know, like the number one Yuji hater. So even if he was wrong, Sukuna was wrong and Yuji was right and he gets and all that, he still say, nuh-uh, because, well, it's Sukuna. He hates Yuji. But outside of that, there's the fact that Sukuna isn't done. I think Yuji has miscalculated, right? Where he's like, oh, yeah, I could kill you whenever I want because you're in my domain or whatever. For starters, who says it's a complete domain, right? He doesn't know what it is. Sukuna doesn't know what it is. It's something very different. It's not necessarily an actual domain because it's like, you know, when they're talking in the afterworld or whatever, when he was talking with his brother Choso, it's like, it's a different place, but it's not, it's not a domain. So perhaps the domain won't even work, right? Like it's not, it's the, it won't have a sure hit effect like Megami when he did the half domain, whatever, on the gym or just in general, right? And we also, that, that just shows that Sukuna hasn't been off screen. He's still alive. They're both alive and they're both in a quote unquote, again, domain. But that's the thing. If it is a domain, do we not see Sukuna copy or watch you, uh, watch Gojo do the sup- simple domain? <laughs> Jesus. We saw Sukuna use the, si- uh, we saw Sukuna see, saw <laughs> Gojo use the simple domain. The point is. Sukuna, well, he knows the hollow wicker basket, right? And he has all his arms back. So he could just use a hollow wicker basket and survive the shirt effect, first of all. Second of all, he saw the simple domain done by everyone and by Gojo as well. So if he can copy things off first sight, he knows the simple domain. So he doesn't have to worry about Yuji's shirt hit. So there's also that. So I don't know why people think, oh, he's cooked. Okay. When has a domain ever been a true guaranteed kill? I don't think we've ever actually seen a domain ever just truly just finish the job, right? Yeah, I don't even think so because when Gojo first did it, they didn't he didn't kill uh, Jogo. Then Sukuna, so I guess for Maharaga, but even then the domain wasn't enough. Uh, but yeah, anyway, the point is the domain might not work realistically. And if it does, he has, I mean, Sukuna can counter a domain. So I don't see why people are like, the instant he gets touched by it, he's dead, right? And that's not how that works. Um, I think Yuta might teach him about love. Again, going back into that last video I just posted, it's the fact that his domain, his own domain, Yuta's domain is unequivocal love, all that, right? So it's love related to what I think his actual curse technique is, which I might not have elaborated as well, but it's simply the fact that whoever he truly loves, that's the curse technique, right? Where he can bring them back because he loves them. That's what his curse technique is, because the whole copy thing is is actually Rika's. And again, that would make sense if you think that the theory is that the reason why he's Fujiwara and Sugawara is because the both warring clans, two of them, got together, and that lineage and his ancestors of Yuta are them, right? The two clans are warring together. Which also brings the point that Yorozu is the one who said, the one who will teach you about love is, why would she say Yuji? Okay? She doesn't know Yuji. Really, realistically, because what she uses the memories of Yorozu, not Yorozu of, of Megumi's sister. I mean, she doesn't know him. Maybe if Megumi says something, but no, he's, she's not gonna say it's gonna be that dude. But you know what, she might say it's going to be the cursed child or the descendants of both the Fujiwara and Sugawara. Because guess what, they're both from the Heian era, Heian era, both those clans. And both Sukuna and Yorozu. So if anyone, if anything, she would mention like, yo, I found out. Because I think she was working for one. I think for Fujiwara or something, right? Where she took out one of their elite, like, star whatever cl- battalion. And so, like, they hired her or they made her part of the clan. So basically, if they just, or she would be able to find out like, oh, a Fujiwara and a Sugawara came together, had a kid. And now it's a new, like, bloodline, basically. And that line, because even, uh, what's it called? The one who can touch the sky. I forget. But the one with sky manipulation was like, yo, you are Fujiwara. You're Fujiwara. And his sensei or Sugawara. Either way. They can tell he's a descendant. And there's also the fact that she would know about being the clans being together. And then Sukuna would know who it is. Right? Like, oh, these clans are warring. They, they fought against him. They tried to kill him. And so it's like, oh, a descendant from both of these clans. I mean... 
those clans are powerful. Not only because they were powerful back then, but even then, their descendants ended up being the Goju clan, right? That's where the Goju clan comes from because they're related. That's how he says that Gojo and Yuta are like distant cousins, right? Because it comes from the same similar family line, which is the Gojo clan and whatever Yuta's from, which again, I'm theorizing is a combination of both Fujiwara and Sugawara. That's why even Gojo's like, you might be more blessed than me. You're actually a descendant from both clans, which even though they hated each other after their throats, they came together in true love. Again, going into the domain where it's a bunch of swords on the floor and those like ceremony things of, I, I think, I think I didn't check, I didn't double check, but for like a marriage or anything, like coming together, two warring clans coming together and this is their descendant. And that would make sense. That would also explain why he's so strong. And again, if Gojo's in... Yuta's body, he can come back, get his room up in there. That's why he's the only other sorcerer that was pulled out of the battle and is on the side, right? That's dead. So, you know, it could work like that. But either way, I don't think Yuji's going to be... I don't even... We've never seen Yuji catch a dub against Sukuna. Let's be honest. Okay, yeah, he had those eight black flashes. Sukuna ate them up, right? Didn't really do much. Yes, he's been coughing up a few fingers, but he's like, okay. Clear, he's like, if we end up going where Sukuna loses because he was holding back... Um, no one's going to like that. Also, the merger. He might pop the merger or whatever. But outside of the, the not holding back, I mean, he got hit with the UGs, <laughs> UGs, please and dismantles between the soul barrier between him and Megumi. But then after that, he's like, okay, as long as he doesn't touch me, he can't hit me, you know. And so he never got hit. He hasn't been touched since. So clearly, he's like holding back or whatever. Or rather, he's just didn't realize so now he's just not making sure not to get touched so there's that as well either way i don't think the domain is gonna work it's working but we don't know if it's a full domain because we haven't seen it no one knows what it is right now not even yuji or sukuna do i think he's gonna kill sukuna right here right then and there probably not we saw buddha in a second ago it's like you pity me is buddha who else got the uh what do they call the not alliteration, not allure. What's it called? Anyway, the hinting at being Buddha, which is the honored one, right? So maybe that's Gojo coming back. He's the one who's gonna maybe not again teach him love, but definitely put him in his place. But then again, Yuta is in Gojo's body, so maybe that's how. Anyway, I digress. This that's just going into theories of what might happen. But as for Yuji being the one to show him, we already saw that it's not getting too. Plus, I don't think Yuji really has a fundamental idea of what he thinks love is and stuff he's just like yo people their lives as long as whatever they do it means something right and i just don't like people who don't like who don't understand that and that's pretty much it but i think yuta has more of that backstory of love you know he's like yo i didn't want to love i didn't love myself and i learned to love myself and now i want everyone i love to be here and he loves gojo as well just like yuji does and everyone else is like, yeah, he's a monster. He's a monster by himself. No one's going to take that up. He's like, if anyone's going to take it up after him, and none of you guys want to do it, I'm going to do it. Because you guys aren't thinking about Gojo and how he has to suffer, right? But he does. He gets it. And that would make sense if they both come back, both Gojo and Yuta. Because it's like, Gojo wants to go back south, be who he used to be when he had uh, Ghetto, right? Suguru Ghetto, where he's like, I want someone who's as strong as me to fight side by side. And if he gets Yuta back, in Gojo's body, and Gojo back in Yuta's body, together fighting like back to back, he's like finally like in the good old days, fighting with the strongest, them both being the strongest, fighting strong opponents, this and that. It might come full circle because that's the thing. For the airport scene, it's like that question remained unanswered. Where he went, whether he went north or whether he went south. And if one, people want to say that this domain thing for Sukuna is going to be north or south, even though it's oh it's, it's pointing north and all this. Again, I don't think anything's going to happen. He might go north at the end, but then that means that Gojo probably goes south. You know, one of them goes north, one of them goes south, and going south stays the same. Sukuna might change. Talk no jutsu. He might, he might, he might, and then the person to activate the merger might be Kenjaku. But again, this is just a bunch of theories, speculations, and a whole bunch of nothing based off nothing. But it might be something. So... Keep your eyes out. I don't know if we're on break next week. Oh, I think we might be. I'm not sure. Double check with your local leakers. But if not, I'm going to be here for next week, next chapter. Hopefully, I'll shed a little more light on what's going to happen about his domain and all that. 
If you like this video, like it. If you didn't like it, dislike it. If you want to hear more, subscribe. Leave your comments of your own theories. And have a nice day. Get out of here.